Hello friends, today we will be talking about a brief checklist before we start a therapeutic plasma exchange procedure. So first we must have a written order which should clearly state the plasma volume to be exchanged, the percentage of replacement required and the choice of replacement fluid. Next we must have a written informed consent from the patient. Third, we should have the patient's report and parameters. The report include the patient's blood doping report, viral marker report and a complete blood count report. And the patient parameters include the patient's gender and weight in order to calculate the plasma volume. Fourth, we must check for the appropriate axis. It can be a central line axis or a intravenous fistula or a permacath. Next, we must have uh, appropriate equipment, kit and the consumables. The therapeutic plasma exchange must be performed by a trained medical staff and on equipment which supports the procedure. Appropriate kits must be used as per the manufacturer's instructions. And among the consumables, the replacement fluid will include a combination of 5% albumin, fresh frozen plasma and normal saline. The choice of fluid will vary depending on the indication of the therapeutic plasma exchange procedure. The normal saline is also required to prime the circuit. We must also have an appropriate anticoagulant and an intravenous calcium gluconate support to manage hypocalcemia. And lastly, to note, the therapeutic apheresis procedures do not come under the Drugs and Cosmetics Act and the license thereafter. Thank you.